up my fellow YouTubers, welcome back to Joe Cobra Gaming, I hope you guys are all doing really good, today I'm going to give you my quick thoughts on the Lego expansion pack for uh, Forza Horizon 4. Now there was whispers before E3 that this was going to be revealed, uh, so I was really happy to, to hear that and when they finally revealed it and we got a look of it from the trailer, uh, I was really super happy to uh, see that this was true. And I couldn't wait for the DLC to come out, which they announced was only going to come out a few days after E3. And uh, I've been playing it for the last couple of days and uh, here are my thoughts. The first thing that uh, you have to do is go to Find Lego City, which is on, it's on the original map. Once it's downloaded, you'll see it on your map. Uh, same as the sa same uh, process as how you, how you get to Storm Island, uh, the other DLC, the first DLC for Forza Horizon 4. And once you get there, uh, it straight away it changes the game. It turns the game upside down. You just get a cut scene and then the car's driving like towards the screen and you take control of the car. You go over a ramp and you burst through this Lego checkered flag. And, uh, you know, it's just like awesome, like the song, which is also in the game. And there's a, uh, it's, it's a new radio station added to the ones that we had before, but it's only got the one song. And that's the awesome song from the Lego movie. And, uh, mate, you know, I, I've been playing it with that co song constantly. It can get a little boring after, like, the 20th time of listen listening to it. But, you know, it's the Lego song, and it truly is awesome. Then the graphics. The graphics uh, look like uh, Lego. Uh, you know, there's not everything is Lego. You know, the mountains in the background. Of course, they weren't going to do all that. But the mountains in the background and some, some things that are around the map obviously are, are real but there's a huge huge percentage of uh, uh, Lego stuff the trees the flowers uh, the houses the the cars the people which are, are, are which is really cool as well if you go into some of the town parts um, you can see people like you know doing their little Lego dance uh, by their door or, or, or a balcony and little touches like that yet yeah, are what turn 10 are really good at with the with these surprise DLCs they done it with the uh, Hot Wheels uh, DLC, which uh, blew everyone's mind, and they've done it again here with the um, with the Lego DLC. The map, uh, as soon as you open it, it's just it just hits you in your face with all the color and all the Lego ness of it. It's a really beautiful map. It's got an air, it's got its own airport. It's got its own uh, racetrack, which I must say is probably one of my favorite parts of the map. Uh, it's like a, a you know your American oval track and um, there's so much to do and so much to see uh, you've got even a desert which I thought was really really good and it also changes up the look of the game um, and you know they thought of everything uh, here they really did the main plot uh, for this DLC is that you have to become a master builder you have to do all your usual uh, events that you had in the previous um, in the normal uh, Forza Horizon map and when you complete these, the races or the, 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 the danger signs or the speed limits, all those things, once you complete these, you get bricks. And with these bricks, you get to build your house, which is the main story, if you like, of the DLC. And there's also many other ways of uh, getting bricks. Once you uh, hit the pause menu, you get a, a big screen of all the bricks that you can, you can get. You can get, you know, 10, 15, 20. It all depends on how hard um, the actual activity is, which determines how many bricks you get. But of course, um, you know, as you start collecting bricks, you start building a bigger, bigger home, and you also have to build certain, build certain Lego cars. There's not many Lego cars in the game. Uh, you've got your classic Ferrari F40, which you have to build, and the amazing uh, McLaren Senna. And you basically start off with uh, a little Lego Mini at the start, but as soon as you start doing uh, some of the challenges and races, you'll soon be getting loads of Lego bricks and building your house and your cars in no time. There's also destruction in the game. Uh, it's not what I hoped for. I thought you could really like tear through houses and bridges and, and really cause a lot of damage and see uh, Lego blocks flying everywhere. But to be honest, you know, apart from really um, the most obvious things like big strong trees and the houses, everything else really can be broken and they really put a lot of work into this DLC and uh, I didn't expect anything else from turn 10. 
So overall, I'm really super, super happy that this turned out to be good because there was a lot of worrying about how how the people expected something different. I don't know what, but you know, now that we've got it uh, and I've played it, I'm really happy that this is what they brought out. Oh, and it's it's something that's not been done before in in a driving game. And uh, I, I really applaud Ten Ten for trying this out. So I hope you enjoyed my review of uh, the Lego DLC for Forza Horizon 4. Leave your comments down below what you thought were your favourite parts of the Lego DLC. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time on Joe Cobra Gaming. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye guys.